I caught you here today. You're also help, helping to try to educate the community if they have questions about the proposed Annenberg project. This time at Whale of a Day for the first time, we see flags up for that proposed project that would be adjacent here. We'll be here on the site. Talk about that, what you're explaining to the community. Well, mostly what I'm trying to do is we have probably 15, 20 people a day because we're the nearest facility next to the flags come in and ask us what it is and why here. And so one of the things I'm trying to give them is just the educational tie-in between that facility and our facility from a more neutral standpoint so they have some idea of why is it here. And uh, so what are you telling them in terms of why is it here? Well, basically because they're trying to tie in the education. They want it here because of the Interpretive Center. They want it here for the connection between the marine life, the wildlife and terrestrial animals going into the um, companion animals. And if you can imagine the exhibits on the outside ground comprised of the Tungva proposed, proposed of the Tungva Indians, dry farming. We have a little outbuilding that's also got flags up where we'd store carts, um, archaeological dig for the kids, um, geology uh, to tie in with the third grade programs, and footsteps in the ground um, from a whale print, because uh, when whales dive they actually make what they call a footprint in the water. Whale footprint, moving on into maybe coyote footprints, uh, bobcat, raccoon, possum, on into the uh, domestic animals, um, tying, tying in some of the history and the culture um, between the two facilities, more of an educational um, type, and at least that's, the, that's what I'm talking to because that's what I've been working on for the last two and a half years in the meetings we've taken. And speaking of the timeline, if this does go through, this project as planned does move along, would we see a facility here for the next whale of a day? Would it be that quick? Oh, no. No, 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 no. It'll, it'll, the, the process just to go through the review period, which is why we put the flags up early, um, even though there's been a lot of press and a lot of postcards going out and information, most people really don't recognize what's going on until they see the flags and the sticks and the silhouette, sorry, is what they call it. Um, and then it, and then it brings out public comments and they really encourage the public to talk to uh, Ara Moranian, who's the principal planner on this project. Um, and get the public comments in so that they can refine it and make it the best for the community. It is not a done deal. They are doing the draft EIR um, now during the month of March and I believe into um, April, but they can call City Hall to check on that. And then it's a long, drawn-out process. It's not, it's not tomorrow. <laughs> I can't tell you how many phone calls we had saying it was going to rain. I can only guarantee this weather until 3.30. Uh, then it's an iffy thing, but... Uh, Knock on wood, never rained out, 26 years, we're here. And even without the rain, it's a splashing success. Ah, thank you, Liz. So I'm here now with Phil Sable. He is a docent with Los Serenos. You'd never miss Whale of a Day, would you? Uh, not in the last five years, no. I've been a member of it and participant of it, and every time I come, I learn as much as I pass out. And you're having a whale of a time. I'm having a whale of a time, absolutely. Now, I happen to catch you over here. There's a map out of the proposed Annenberg project. You had some questions? Yeah, I was concerned about the time schedule, the time frames, the integration between what they are planning with what we have here in existence. And it, it's amazing. I've been to four or five of their meetings, but every time I attend any session or listen to someone presenting some facts, I learn something new. It's going to be a great, great, great project. So you're excited about this project? Oh, absolutely. And so, you know, it's one of the nice, another one of those hidden secrets of Rancho Palos Verdes. We, we are so blessed to have what we have and to have this kind of funding and projection behind us. And of course, your main concern is always here at Point Vicente at the um, Interpretive Center. You are totally committed here, and I'm sure you want to make sure that it helps enhance what's here. Oh, I think, you know, anyone who would take three minutes and look at the plans will see how it, it integrates as beautifully as it could possibly integrate because you won't be able to tell where the existing facilities are and where the new facilities begin. It's just going to blend beautifully. All the, the buildings are topped. They've got solar panels in place. Uh, it, it's just going to be a beautiful schematic, and, and people should take the time to take a look at the plans. Okay, well, I know there's opposition out there. Tear at Whale of a Day, we haven't found that, but uh, I know we'll just keep hearing this. It's going to play out for a while in the community. Well, you know, even from the beginning, when they first started talking to Annenberg, there were probably uh, a few people against it. Uh, ironically, most of those people have swung around, and I think what they did is they took the time to listen. 
And I think anybody who takes the time to listen and look is going to see that this is just a plus, plus, plus for the for the peninsula. All right, well, I caught up with some junior docents here at Point Vicente, Tracy and Andre. Just for starters, uh, what is junior docents all about? Um, you learn mostly about Palos Verdes and all the interesting facts about it, like the rocks, the whales, just everything about it. So it's pretty cool. And why, Andre, did you just decide to become a junior docent? Um, well, originally for me it started out as an extra credit project for my biology class. And um, once I came to the informational meeting, uh, I kind of got hooked off the other junior docents and it's pretty cool. What are some fun facts you want to share that you've learned since you've become junior docents? Um, I have learned that the Pacific, uh, giant Pacific octopus eats itself when it gets nervous. So I, I never really knew that before. How about cool. you, Tracy? Um, I learned a lot about marine land and how it all functioned and how it got closed down. And it was just really cool to see what it was all about because it was here in Palos Verdes. So. And, um, so you guys, I don't know, when you started the program, do you expect to do this throughout high school? Um, well, this is my senior year, but I think I'm going to start doing it over the summer because I just had so much fun. I'm just so attracted to everyone. So. And how about you? Would you encourage more kids to get involved? Uh, definitely. Being a freshman, I'm going to be here probably the rest of my high school um, years, but anybody who wants to come down and be part of our program, definitely. It's a really cool experience. So what are you guys up to right now? Um, well, I'm going to be working at the tide pools, and I'm going to be talking about those. So. Uh, I'm going to be at our whale wagon giving them information about like baleen and all the uses of it and stuff like that. So what are some uses of baleen? Um, they used to use them as, uh, they used them in hairbrushes for women, uh, umbrellas, um, they used them in clothing to help like them keep their backs up straight, so really uh, basic everyday stuff. I'm now here with Don Eichhorn, who is president of Los Serenos, and uh, what a great whale of a day. And that is really something. The sun finally came out, so we're so happy about that. Talk about um, Los Serenos, what you do, what you're all about. Yeah, what what we are, as you know, the uh, uh, Point Vicente Interpretive Center here, uh, we do the docent work for this whole building here. But what we're really all about is, is educating people about our beautiful Palos Verdes Peninsula. Uh, we love the peninsula just like everybody else does, and, and we know everything about it. About uh, three years ago, um, we, we have an outreach program to, to recruit adult docents, and, the, um, and I was new on our board of directors then, and the outreach chairman gave me a call and said he had a teenager wanting to know if uh, she could uh, serve in some way, and I, I said, I, I don't know, I'll find out. And I discovered we had no way of doing that. So I said, well, let's start up a junior docent program. So we formed a committee, and we uh, made a proposal to the uh, city on just how to do it. They accepted it. And this is our third year now. We have a total of about 14 uh, junior docents. The kids love it. Uh, they, they just completed their graduation. And Whale of the Day is their debut today for, uh, for serving for the first time. Hi, my name is Elisa Schulman Janiger. I have been the director of the Graywell Census and Behavior Project since 1984. We have trained volunteers who sit here sunrise to sunset from December 1st to the middle of May, counting whales, identifying what species we see, writing down behaviors, and we look at trends from year to year to year. And what are you seeing this year, 2010? Well, this year, I think we're up to 307 southbound gray whales, which actually passes up last year's, and about 186 northbound whales, which is a little bit lower than last year. Uh, the numbers of northbound are building up. Last week was a turnaround week, which was a little bit late, and so the numbers should continue to build over the next few weeks. 